great. Thanks for stopping by. In the last episode, I introduced myself and shared some of the women that are here on YouTube that I admire and follow and encourage you to go back and uh, look at that video and see if there's any new names for you or some that you may recognize and subscribe to their channels as well. In today's episode, we're going to talk about my January makes. Now, I'm going to do this a little different in that I'll actually start with the garments that I made in 2021 and then it will compare that to what I was able to create in 2022. So let's get started. Now, in January 2021, I was able to make two garments. Two whole garments in 31 days. I had just started. I'm okay with that. <laughs> so the first garment that I made was actually the Rebecca Page Toronto Tee. And I made it in this bright <laughs> yellow here. Um, and it was a very simple, simple make. Again, I started in August of 2020 with garment sewing. And so just did a few things. And I even have an episode to talk about some of those things. But for January of 21, I wanted to start with just a basic t-shirt. It was out of season. I knew I was only going to wear it in the house. And so I didn't have any high expectations for it, but just wanted something to start me off for the year. And I'll say that if you haven't done a t-shirt before or you have, this is a good one to go with. It's just a boxy tee. It comes with four pattern pieces. I only used three of them because I knew this was just a practice run. So the front on the fold, the back on the fold, and then you have the sleeve is what I did. It also has the option for a pocket. And when I do this t-shirt again, I will add that pocket. Now I will say that I'm not really a boxy t-shirt type person, but um, this was easy enough and it's comfortable enough to wear around the house or just, you know, if I'm zipping in and out doing chores or errands or something, then I can't see myself throwing this on. Um, but for the most part, it will be just something that I can lounge around in. Uh, now, one of the other reasons why I don't wear it out of the house is, and I was a little sad about this, is that when I first washed it, whatever I washed it with, it bled and it's like all over the back and on the front of the tee. Um, so I don't wear this one outside the house and actually I think I did this in an extra large and I'll probably size down um, the next time I do this just to get away from the very boxy shape of it um, and because it's a little too big but <laughs> um, I really enjoyed making this tea and I know that others will find the same experience. Now for the second garment was actually another tea. And so for the second garment, I was able to make the Frankie tee by Tilly and the Buttons. Again, a very easy make, um, something that you'll be able to whip up fairly easy. Again, this came with four pattern pieces, I only used, or it came with five, I think, and I only used um, four of the pattern pieces. And it's the front, the back, the sleeve, the neckband, which I don't think I said on the yellow t-shirt, but that was one of the pattern pieces. And then it also has the option to give a little V notch or some detailing, some character for the garment. I opted again not to do that for this one. Again, this was my first time doing this. So I just wanted to get the basic parts down, the most important parts, like the front, the back, and the sleeve. And then I'll try again to actually do the V notch when I make this again. So this is a definite repeat. Um, I just haven't had a chance to get back to either one of them because there's just so many patterns and so little time. But I do want to try this again. Um, I love the color. Green is like my second favorite color. And so I do wear this out a lot. Now, as with the yellow one, it's practice. It was one of our first ones. So some of these seams are just, you know, um, they add character and definition to the shirt. I do wear this one out, though, under a jacket or something like that. So you really can't see the sins of the, the seams <laughs> when I'm wearing this. But a very, very simple make. Um, this also has the hem. And I, you know, I did my best here on the sleeve. I was just, you know, first time out the gate. Let's see what we can do. And the hem on the bottom, I think, is a little bit better than the hem on the sleeve and this was before I actually got a twin needle which I think I'll need, use for the next time on both the sleeve as well as the um, the hem waist or the, the waist at the bottom the hem at the bottom but um, again Frankie T another good T so for 2021 I had two makes two t-shirts 
totally different styles. One was uh, like a set in sleeve, the other one is like a raglan sleeve, or the Frankie T is a raglan sleeve. Because I wanted to get the experience of both of those, I really like them, and I think someone else will too. Okay, so let's fast forward to 2022. Huge contrast. So let's start with the obvious. I started the year off with making some some business wardrobe pants. So they are Quick Sew 3602. Now on the packet, they call them sleep pants and they have every right to call it that. And you know, really that's what they are. But for me, they are work from home career pants um, because I do travel from the bedroom to the bathroom and then to the home office. And so I need something that separates you know, my work day from my I'm just at home kicking it style. And so these three pair of pants are what I use to um, complement my upper business attire. So what did we do? We did these pants all in flannel. All of this flannel came from Joanne Fabric. All of this flannel was on sale at the time. I encourage anyone to, if you can still find this pattern in the drawers, we know Quick Sew is not on the Something Delightful website anymore, but if you can still find it in the drawers or online somewhere, I would say pick it up. Very easy pattern. Two pattern pieces. You have your front and your back. Your waistband is actually folded over and you sew that around. So like, you know, as a first project, I would say yes, this could definitely be one of them. Um, are they something to wear outside? You be the judge of that. That's not for me to decide. They're my inside work pants. They can certainly be your outside, I'm ready to go pants. It's all in personal preference. Okay, so I started off with some very wintry, because we are in the winter season, some very wintry uh, red and white pattern flannel. And so these were pretty fun to make. I actually had um, a little left over from a different project, so they're kind of short. Um, for what I had left, but they basically cover all the necessary parts, and I can just wear some very cozy, long um, socks to go with them. But as I mentioned, you have two front pieces, which I think I did pretty good on the front. You actually have two back pieces, which I think I did pretty good on the back there as well. And then for the waistband, you just take that, fold it over, um, stick, you know, stitch along, leave a hole, and insert your elastic. So a very easy make. Now, one of the things that I did do is because sometimes it's a little hard to see which is the front and which is the back of pants. And so what I do is just take a little piece of scrap fabric that I have laying around from other projects and just cut a very small piece, stick it in the waistband where I had put the elastic in. Because that's still open, I just go ahead and stick a little piece of fabric in there, close that up, and then that helps me to see if I'm, you know, kind of dark and I'm putting them on or something. Um, quickly then I can see that okay yep this is the back and be able to just you know throw those on so these were my um, winter true winter work pants okay so for the second pair of pants we have pretty much again flannel now the back eh, not so great the front okay yeah we're doing it here so again flannel very easy to work with I wash all my fabric beforehand, so, you know, to try to get out any shrinkage that may happen. So I washed and I dried them. Um, I have worn these um, a few times, washed them and dried them. And, you know, they're the same size they were when I first made them up until now. So um, very easy to work with. Again, have my little flap to tell me this is the back of the pants. Again, a, a elastic in there for some stretch to the waistband so that they fit pretty good. And I will say that... Um, the sizing is pretty good. They are pretty roomy um, along the, the hips and, and the legs, which is okay. Again, it's just me in the office here. So, you know, who cares? No one's going to see this on camera. I'm comfortable. That's all that matters. So, these were my second pair. Now, we do have what's called, you know, Jean Friday. So, you're not frowned upon if you decide to wear jeans on a Friday. And so, I figured, okay, Friday here in the home office. We will have Jean Friday. Now, patchwork denim look, again, still flannel, still comfortable here in the winter time. Again, we do have our little tag there in the back as well. So, Quick Sew 3602 made three pair of these. And after I did the first pair, make sure they, you know, fit pretty good. Then I just zipped through the next two pair and um, had my winter business wardrobe 
complete. The next item that I made for the month of January, I am so extremely proud of. Actually, um, it was part a part of a challenge that I unofficially, I guess, participated in. I don't think I follow all the rules, but I did use the hashtag on Instagram just to kind of get in into the swing of things. But it was um, by Minerva.com. They had a Sew With New Look challenge for the month of January, which was awesome because I already had this, this pattern planned for January. Um, I was just waiting to find a good fabric. What I decided to make was New Look 6585, and I made it in this here pattern. And I will say, so as my first coat, awesome. Like, get the, there are no closures, no buttons, no zippers, no snaps, no toggles, no string, no ribbon, no elastic. It's none of that. There are pattern pieces and thread and go. <laughs> so I would highly recommend this again to any beginners or someone that's diving into the coat world to go ahead and pick up 6585. You have your sleeve. And that's in two pieces. You have your front, you have your back, which is also in two pieces, and then you have um, your hood. Now, it's not lined, which is okay. You can certainly do that if you have the skills or just want to, you know, try something, but it's, it's an easy coat. You can do this in a matter of a few hours. It is a good size um, in terms of comfort as well as an overcoat, so... You know, you can put a sweater on it, or if you have a sweater and a shirt, like, under it, you'll be fine. There's plenty of room in this coat. And again, very, very easy to make um, and very comfortable to wear. And I would say this would, this is um, tied for my favorite of the month. New Look 6585. So my last make for the month was very spontaneous. It was like I was scrolling and um, someone had posted a pattern that she had made and it was like, okay, yep, I like you. I pretty much watch, you know, just about all your videos that come out and I didn't, I guess didn't know at the time or maybe didn't remember that she actually made patterns. And so when I saw it, I was like, oh, that's very cute and oh, what a great way I can, you know, support her business. And so as soon as I saw it, um, that her post of, you know, her her garment or her pattern was available, I immediately went to her website, clicked the, the buy button, downloaded the pattern, printed, taped, cut, um, and then laid out my fabric, cut the fabric, and got to going. So, I mean, I was all in from the moment I saw her post. And I have to say, again, a very easy make um, and something that I think others will enjoy. So, the pattern. It is the January Dress by Lydia Naomi. Again, she is someone that I had, you know, thank you YouTube. They just She just showed up into my feed one day and it was like, okay, I'm interested. I'll take a look. Let's see here. And thoroughly enjoy her videos. Very fun, very informative. Um, and her patterns, as I was scrolling through her website, are something that, yeah, there's a couple others that I'll definitely be, um, be purchasing. She actually had mentioned in a post that she's looking to do a turtleneck um, pattern, which I have not found a good turtleneck pattern. The ones that I found, or even that I have, I mean, the turtleneck is cool. Like, I like an old school turtleneck that's like, you know, there's no way of getting through up and through here. Like, you know, with this one, you know, you have just a little bit of wobble room there. But I like a, a turtleneck that actually fits the neck and then one that is, you know, like curved or, you know, has some silhouette to it. And, and I've just not been able to find one um, through all the patterns, both in, both in commercial as well as indie. So when, she, you know, she said she's making her turtleneck, I'm like, please do and take my money. Back to the January dress. So <laughs> here is the January dress. Um, I forget where I got this fabric from, but it is a jersey. And oh, when I say I enjoyed putting this together, I really, really did. So I really liked it in that. And in the pictures, you'll see um, the neck again. It's you know it's loose. So like I just said, I like the tighter turtleneck shirts. But this is you know a looser neck here at the top. 
um, that's, you know, grown into the bodice or the dress. And so they're not separate pieces. So it's seamless. It looks really good on. You have your arm and then you have this band that I would say separate or puts together the back and the front. So it just gives it a little bit of a detail um, to the actual dress, but it is so comfortable to wear. Um, this was my trial and I'll have to say I will have to make another one. It doesn't fit me as I think I like or maybe it was intended to fit. It's just a little tight in the shoulders and I do have pretty broad shoulders. So, you know, that's something to take into consideration. But um, this it is so cute, so adorable. Now, I think I'm taller than her too. And so I'll probably, well, when I make this again, I'll definitely be lengthening this dress just a bit. But um, as far as style and, and fit, I really, really, really do like it. And can't wait to make another one of these. So this is the January dress by Lydia Naomi. And I have to say, you know, as far as my favorites of the month, it is very high up there with the new look. And if I just had to choose, I would say that this is my favorite make of the month. Okay, so to wrap up this episode, we're going to talk about some of the things I was able to complete in the month of January that I didn't actually start in the month of January. These projects were started sometime in 2021. I don't even remember when, what month, what season, but they were just started and put in the, I'm going to get back to you in a minute pile, but um, I wanted to like get through some of these projects that are just kind of lingering and taking up space. And so I wanted to start this year with new projects as well as finishing some of those works in progress. And so the first pattern I was able to complete is Simplicity 9372. So I made view D in this green stretchy fabric. Now I'm pretty sure I picked this up as a value bundle from Walmart. It was just like, you know, either two yards for $2 or it might even been three yards for $8. I don't know, but it was just something very, very inexpensive that was like, use me as a tester. And I said, sure, get in the cart. So um, this, View D, I don't know, maybe I need to try it again in a bigger size, but I feel like I'm wearing a straight jacket in it, and I don't think that's what they had in mind when they made this. It could be. I could be wrong. We could straight be going for some confinement, but that, it doesn't work for me. So I may try to do View D again in a larger size. I It just, I didn't feel comfortable in it at all. So Maybe, maybe not, but at least I finished it. I tried it on and just felt too constricted and said, no, thank you. But it may work for you. Now, was it easy? Pretty easy to put together. Um, I think it had like two or three pattern pieces. So not very complicated. It's just that at first I didn't understand how she even had it on was thrown over the shoulders and then finally I looked at the back like oh it actually crisscrosses in the back and that's where it was just like I just felt like a bear hug that I really didn't want to give anymore so um 9372 view d it's a no right now it may be revisited in the future so the second pattern that I was able to complete last month was actually Simplicity 4248. Okay, this was a Walmart value bundle. Uh, I really want to say this was a three yards for eight dollars type deal because I had quite a bit of it. I think I still have some left. So I've been wearing this and I was wearing it before I finished it and basically all I needed to finish was like hemming the sleeves I'm pretty sure that was probably all I needed to finish with the sleeve, but I had been wearing it around the house. This was never to be worn outside to begin with, so, you know, for that, it's okay, but um, I, I just needed to finish the sleeves, and the only reason why I didn't finish it was because y this thing is like a robe, so on the picture, it comes like right to her knee and a little below, and I'm like, okay, cool. 
that's something I can wear, get on the couch, pull, you know, uh, my knees up under it and just, you know, sit there and be swaddled. I don't like straight jacket, but I like to be, you know, a little swaddled here and there. Okay, this almost touches the floor on me, which is not the pictures version of view A. That's not what this is. So I was a little disappointed in that. It actually came out a, a little too oversized for me again hers just a little closer to her body it seems like and this one was really really um wide on me as well but as far as ease very simple i like it because it also has the lined hood so you know depending on you know, what type of material that you have if it, it's prone to to nape or have a lint or just whatever in your hair you you may avoid, be able to avoid that because you have the front of the fabric on both sides. So that's really helpful. Um, you know, it was supposed to have drawstrings. I didn't put it in. Again, this was a tester. Everything in 2021 was pretty much a tester. We'll just go ahead and say that. But um, this is where it was marked on the pattern. And then this is where my actual drawstring... <laughs> um casing is i don't really know what happened there but you know if i try it again which this isn't high on the list for a retry i will put a drawstring in um you know to, to finish the look of it but for now it works it's just something comfortable i can wear around the house i think it was what is this four pattern pieces so you have your front cut on the fold you actually have your back cut on the fold so there's no seam in the front or the back you have your sleeves and then you have your hood now I did not and will not finish the bottom it's not going to ravel or anything like that it's not coming out of the house no one's going to see it so this for me is a completed garment will I make it again I'm not really sure this kind of works um, for now so We'll, we'll just have to see. Then my third and final completed project for January. This is my favorite work in progress project. Okay, so this is Butterick 6534. This is so um, bright and vibrant and in your face and say hello to me i am here do you see me which really isn't me so much like i'm a very solid girl you know you may get some heather like you do in this top which by the way is um a simplicity top and i'll you know post pictures of me in it this fabric is from joanne and it's their faux cashmere oh so comfortable it's so warm so this is a butter pattern so much fun oh I enjoyed putting this together now this holds a special place in my heart because this fabric came um, from overseas so my sister took a trip to Ghana last year and I sent her with some funds like just take an empty suitcase and put as much fabric as you can in it on your way back and so this was one of the um, fabrics that she was able to send or get back to me and it is so fun not something I would normally wear, but when I saw this, I was like, yep, I'll have that, all of it, please, six yards. And so I got six yards, so I have enough to make something else with it. It will not be a coordinating because that's too much coordinating. But um, I will figure out something to make with the <laughs> remainder of the fabric. But this right here, oh my gosh, another easy make. 2021 was all about the easy makes and was all about the tests. Now, some of those tests we will wear outside and some of them we will never speak of. But this is awesome. So, I, there was the front you cut on, the um, front you cut out too, actually had grown, grown on facings. So, it wasn't like a separate piece that you had to stitch together and then, you know, do all the things with. You just folded it over and stitched it basically. Obviously, it has a collar, um, upper and lower, or inner and outer collar. You were supposed to slip stitch the inside. Mm -mm. I have a sewing machine and a serger to do all the stitching. We will not be doing hand stitching here. 
Uh, so you had the collars, then you had the sleeves. So fun. So cute. I can't wait. Now, why I don't have pictures of this one is because while there are a lot of colors, I just wasn't sure how to style this or what I wanted to style this with. So, maybe for the month of February or somewhere down the line, I will post pictures of um, how I actually wear this or what I wear this with. But again, another um, easy, fun pattern to do. I recommend it. Um, it could actually be one of the first two patterns for someone who's just getting started and, you know, not really sure about collars. Um, you know, this is a fairly easy. Now, what I will say is that I did have a mishap in this. So, on this collar, you know, it kind of go here, that way, and it really shouldn't. But now, on this collar in... It's just like, oh, girl, straight up, you got this. And I was so excited. And then I got to this side, like, but I don't know what happened. However, no one should be all on my neck like that to really be on my collar. But it's there. I'll admit it. It happens. I'm still going to wear it. I'm still going to wear it outside. So those were my makes for January 2022, along with some other projects I was able to complete. Now, this episode is dedicated to Lydia Naomi. As I mentioned, I enjoyed sewing up the January dress and look forward to making more of that. I encourage you to check out her YouTube channel as well as her website. I'm sure there will be some videos there for you to like, possibly for you to subscribe to her channel, and then check out her website for some other patterns that you may enjoy. Thanks for walking with me through this sewing journey. I look forward to seeing you next time. Please consider liking the video, subscribing, and leaving some comments down below. See you next time.